Hello everyone. So I'm just going to quickly explain how you're going to create a graph using Google Sheets. So when you are working with this data collection sheet, you'll notice that you have filled out, filled this out with your class. So that means that there would be 41 left over. You had to go through 41. Remember that in an hour, there are three 20 minute segments, meaning that there were three opportunities for there to be um, reproduction, three doubles. And so um, you're going to take 41 and multiply that by eight because that was what you should have gotten after those were uh, bacteria were killed and the ones that were left over. So that would leave you with 328. Multiply that number by eight. That's where you've gotten your 26, 24. And then one more time. That would give you 20,992. 20, and then if we were to multiply that by eight, you should have gotten 167,936. And then if you were to multiply that by 0.9999, take that number and subtract it by the start bacteria before the dose, that would give you with a um, leftover of rounding it up would give you about 17. And then once you hit enter, the rest of the table is coded and generated for you. So if you were watching this video, it is because you were choosing to do graph level three, which is in the tab that's right to the right of your antibiotic doses table. And this is where you're going to be creating your graph on your own. So the first thing you're gonna wanna realize is that it is asking for you to have the exact same number of um, the same table, and it has already color coded you with yellow and green. So those are the X and Y um, data points. So we're gonna go ahead and to make our graph, we are going to want to highlight all of our data points into the Y column. You'll just highlight that. You'll do Control C, move over to your graph, and then you're going to want to hit that very first row. Otherwise, it's going to paste it in whatever column you put it in. So then you'll go Control V, and it will automatically post these for you. Now, you may have noticed that this is According to this, this is coded, so you'll actually want to go through and put in the numbers. So you'll want to actually not just copy and paste it, but you'll want to write them back and forth. Um, one other way that you can do this is if you just copy and paste, or if you copy this and delete it, it will completely empty it, and then you'll have to go back and forth or split screen um, and then put those numbers in by hand. So let me go ahead and pause that and we'll have that ready in just a second. So once you have your table all filled up, you can go ahead and highlight your both your X and Y tables. So you've got our X in the yellow and our Y in the green, and you are going to highlight the entire table. Once you do that, you can take your insert, drop down, and go into chart, and that is automatically going to generate a table for you. Luckily, we want it as a line graph, so this is all set for you. You just want to make sure that you have your time and hours. If you'd like, you can aggregate it, meaning that it's more specific. It gives you it hour by hour, and overall, we can see our trend line. Now, the last thing that you'll need to do is you'll just need to take this graph, copy, and then paste it back in to your document when you are ready, okay? But those are how you make the graph. The most important thing is to already have your X and Y label that will automatically generate your X and Y axis and the title of your graph, and it will automatically generate your Y um, numbers and your X. So that is how you make a graph using Google Sheets. Let us know if you have any questions.